It started with a boy named Alex whose parents wanted the bionic arm. And they talked to myself and I rallied a team at my university at University of Central Florida. Um, and we took leaps and bounds where, um, to be able to make him a bionic arm. So there's actually electronics inside of these in here with a motor. And so when you flex a muscle, you can actually pick up on, there's a voltage generator, just like a battery. Um, and we use that to be able to trigger the hand open and close. I was born with one hand and I only had like basic prosthetics with only some movement. And so I've been had one hand all my life, but haven't known any different. Well, we had a phone call from the Artificial Limb Centre here. I think there's this um, opportunity, there's this fantastic team coming across from America who do things with prosthetics, and we'd be interested in Corey um, having a, a much more sophisticated prosthetic limb than he's ever had before. So, of course, we said yes. Because <laughs> uh, it just seems such an amazing um, possibility to have a, a prosthetic where you, know, you could actually open the hand and eventually you know, fingers and use of it, because I said in the past, um, although Corey hasn't really used prosthetics for anything other than cycling, just to get the handlebars the right length, um, you know, potential opportunities for him to have a prosthetic was it actually really functional and really useful, as well as light, because a lot of the other ones are really heavy, the old fashioned ones are not very usable. Um, so it was a, yeah, couldn't miss that opportunity. Um, the bionic arm from us is to give him a little bit more confidence and hopefully it helps him with the little things in everyday life like putting on your safety belt in the car and, and you know carrying a drink in one hand and a sandwich bag in the other those are things we kind of take for granted and, um, so we're hoping today to get him to see how well you can suit up on your own and try to go through some of that learning curve because you were fully functional but now it's about learning how to like have the dexterity with with real life objects too um, so our arms cost about 350 US dollars to manufacture, just the material costs. That doesn't include time, which is volunteered, and the, um, the hardware and equipment as well, which has been donated or purchased through our, our foundation. Right, so we give everything away. There's no charge to families.